arrived in NMS A. Smeg. And you can see here, this was actually discovered by James P. Vale yet again. So yeah, I'm not doing a planet review this time, chums, no. Heck no, I've got a multi-tool to show the heck yes. So hopefully I'm going to be able to see his beacon that he's put down, or message comms ball. There it is over there, comms ball, 13 hours away. We will be taking the ship, we will cut that journey down by somewhat. Oh, hello there, gnarly fauna. Right, let's uh, go and... See you, said multi-tool. I'll see you when I get there. See you when I get yeah, there, Chuck. I'm touching down at this little crazy outpost. Well, I say outpost. It's a minor settlement. There we go. Reload at the space station for experimental. So you can see there that there's an indication that it may not actually work unless I go back up to the space station and save and reload there and then come back. However, what I find is if you do that, sometimes the comms ball actually disappears. So what I'm going to do... So I'm just going to put down a beacon here, chums. So yeah, I'm going to stick down one of these little chappies. Because these things don't disappear. Now why is it not going green? Oh, it's because the world hasn't rendered. Okay, well I'm going to stick this, I don't know, on that little platform there. Looks nice there, doesn't it? It looks fitting. Nice. And what colour shall we have? We will have a yellow one. Oh, shite! I went and pressed the wrong button and stuck it. Who cares? Right, let's uh, just hit a save anyway. Just to hit a save here for now. Lovely. So all my multiplayer settings are off. Now I would suggest you turn off your multiplayer settings before you jump through the portal and come here, just in case somebody beats you to it. So that's that one, and I also disable that one as well, just to be freaking sure. Okay, well, you know what? I'm going to brave it. I'm just going to go in anyway, and I'm going to see what multi-tool is there before I do the reload. So this should give you guys an indication, if you come here, what to expect. Okay, where's the... where is it? Oh, it's over here. It's hidden in this little back corner. Oh, look at that. Isn't that wonderfully blue? Aspects of silence. And it looks like, for me, it was fine on first load. However, if you find that this is not in the cabinet, then yeah, head on up to the space station, like um, the comms ball suggested. What a lovely, lovely multi-tool. I like that a lot. Okay, chums, I have made the multi-tool in the code as big as I can on the screen for you guys. So if you do want to go pick this up, this is in Euclid. That's the actual portal code there on the screen right now. And yeah, thank you James P. Vale for giving this location. It's a lovely sort of bluey sort of eggshell colour. I like it a lot, I like it. But uh, it's not one that I'm going to trade any of my multi-tools for. I have a full ensemble now. So if I pop out of there, you're going to need the actual... Um, X and Y coordinates, aren't you? So there you go. Let's uh, get those on the screen and get those as big as I possibly can as well. So, that, oh, well, it's got an icon there. We don't really... Oh, the fudging icons right by the code. There we go. So current location is minus 41.02 and minus 20.11. So there we go. There we are. And would you look at that? The, channel, the actual planet itself has got ancient bones on. You can dig yourself up if you why you're here. So anyway, that's pretty much everything, Jump. So I just want to say a massive, great big thank you to Jason, James P. Vale. So James P. Vale, thank you very much. Double thumbs up, chum. And yeah, you got yourself an air grab. There you go. That's that's for you. Air grab. Yeah, look, even the Gek just gave you a double thumbs up and then walked straight through my person. I don't know how he freaking did that. He must have studied with the, the Buddhas or something for freaking years. Uh, just phased through me. Freaking great. Anyway, I'll see all of you guys next time. I'm going to have a word with this Gek in a bit. I'll see you later. Goodbye. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. Right, you. You little git. You just walked through me. Uh, yeah, I saw what you did there. Assistant Dorsa. What have you got there? The trainer's eyes and... Okay, okay, they're leading. Okay, yeah. Right. I, t I did not know this. Well, thank you very much for your um, your health. Your your your, your health. Um, well, yeah. Okay. Cool. Oh no, no, you're okay. You do not. You do not need to put that slug anywhere near my freaking ears. Okay. No, no, no. no, no I, I said no. Okay, go on and go on and I'll let you. You can put it in my ear. I'll let you. Yeah, thank you. All right, okay, well that, that that's um that that that, that tickles and it doesn't feel all that nice. Okay, right. Y you know what? I should just let you face free me, shouldn't I? I should not have had this conversation. Right. Well, there you go. That was worth it. I learned nothing freaking new. Yeah, story of my freaking life. How do I get this freaking slug out of my ear? You freaking get. You, you, what do you mean you're not going to take it out, mate? What did, what the, what did think you're going? Okay, all right. Well, there you go. That's um, that's kind of how all my adventures go these days, chums. 
Well, thank you very much for watching this video. And if you like what you see, please hit a like or a subscribe. And yeah, or you can support my channel through Patreon. Here are all my Patreon backers. Thanking you, Patreon. And oh, I also have YouTube membership. If you want to sign over to YouTube membership, check out my video links in my video description. I also have merch. Grab yourself a fine and dandy pair of socks, a mug or a t-shirt over my merch store. Or I also have Atlas cards that I sometimes have my eBay store. Check out my video description. So that is the end. Thank you for watching and please hit a join or a subscribe or just hit one of these tiles on the screen you see here now. Stay with Captain Steve a bit longer. <laughs>